Hey guys, it's Pierre, and welcome to PHP tutorial number 40. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the final thing before we get on to setting up P uh, sorry, MySQL to use inside PHP scripts, uh, and that is formatting date and time. Now, I'm first going to turn on um, my web server, and then I'm just going to, once that loads up, open up the MySQL console. Okay, and now I'm just going to use, actually I don't need to use any databases for this tutorial. Um, now the two things we're going to look at to format dates and stuff are the format underscore date, fun or sorry, the date underscore format function and the time underscore format function, which um, allow us to um, supply a date or a function which will um, create a date, or not create, but which will work out the date for us and then once we give it that date or the time as well with time underscore format we can then supply a second argument which tells the function how we want to format that date so let's look at um, first the date underscore format now I'm just going to give it the now function which will get the date and time um, but because it's a date format function, it will only return the date, so we don't need to worry about the fact that the now generates the time as well. And now we need to look at a bunch of um, special characters which we use in the format string. Okay. Um, now these all start with a percentage sign, and then a character after them. And the character after them, and it's case sensitive by the way, determines what um, will be in that position. So um, I'm just going to quickly run through the all the characters for dates and um, maybe you won't understand it when I'm talking about them but when you see it in action you'll understand but for now I'm just going to run through all the things. Whoops, sorry. So um, percentage lowercase e gives us the numeric day of the month Okay, in um, single digits um, so that's 1 to 9 and then you know of course when it gets to 10 it goes into double digits then um, percentage D gives us the day of the month again but in two digits throughout so it's 0 1 to 0 9 and then 10 and so on to 31 then uh, percentage sign and then capital D sorry the uh, two digit day of month was percentage sign lowercase d percentage sign capital D gives us the day with a suffix, so like um, first, second, you know, with the st, and then the nd, and then the rd for third, and so on, okay? Then percent and capital w gives us the weekday name, so actually the name, so it will give us the string, you know, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on, okay? Then uh, percentage sign and lowercase a gives us an abbreviated weekday, um, so, like, um, M-O-N for Monday, uh, Tuesday is T-U-E, and then Wednesday is W-E-D, and so on, okay? Um, so that's, um, all pretty much days. Um, now, percentage sign lowercase c gives us the month number, again, in, uh, starting with single digits. It's not do double digits throughout. If you want double digit month, numbers, you have to use percentage sign and then M, a lowercase m, and that will give you double digit month numbers. If you want the month names fully, you need to use percentage sign and capital M. If you want the abbreviated month names, you need to use percentage sign and then lowercase b. And then finally for years, it's percentage sign uppercase y for the full, um, hit, well, in this um, at this current time, it's a four di four digits. But you know, uh, when it gets, I'm sure we won't be using PHP and MySQL at that point. But when it gets into five digits, you know, it'll be five digits and so on. Um, <laughs> so and then finally, percentage sign and lowercase y gives us the year again, but only with the last two digits. So in this case, it would be O nine. It would give us. Okay, so let's use that to create um, a formatted date. So the first type of date I'm going to make is um, one where we get 
the full um, name of the day, so that would be percentage sign capital W, then uh, a space, and anything that isn't a percentage sign and then another character will um, show up as a literal. So if I put a colon in there, that will be the the day name and then a colon. It won't. The colon doesn't mean anything, so you're allowed to put that in. So so day then percent uh, then a space. Then I'm going to have um, sorry actually not day. I'm going to have no, actually I will. I'll have um, so day percentage sign D, then I'm going to have um, percentage sign D, which means um, the day with the suffix, so that will give me, at the moment, um, what is it today, it's a Tuesday today, that will give me Tuesday the 23rd, okay, or I can I can put a D, uh, D in there, Tuesday the 23rd, um, and then a comma, and I'll put the full year, so percentage Y gives me a four digit year. And if I run this now, you can see I get Tuesday the, tw the 23rd, 2009, okay? And so from that you can work out how to create your own uh, otherwise formatted dates, okay? Now let's look at time format. The time and school format function takes, um, again, a date, um, but this time you have uh, another bunch of characters which can format the time. So the first, I'm going to try and get through these pretty quickly. The first is percentage lowercase l, which gives us the hour uh, from 1 to 12. That's one digit as well. For two digits, so 0, 1 to 1, 2, or 12, you know, is percentage sign h. Then for a 24 hour um, time, with a single digit 24 hour time, so 0 to 23, that's percentage sign K, which you wouldn't normally use actually. If it's 24 hour clock, you'd have double digits. So if you want a double digit 24 hour clock, you use percentage sign and then capital H. The 24 hour single digit is percentage sign lowercase k. Okay. Uh, if you want minutes, you need percentage sign lowercase i. If you want seconds, percentage sign um, uppercase s, and minutes and seconds both come in double digits no matter what, okay? Then if you want the time, so like pretty much an already formatted time, uh, so that will be the hour, then a colon, then the minutes, then a colon, then the seconds, then a space, and then whether it's a.m. or p.m., that will format it all like that, just with one single character, which is uh, percentage sign R, or two single characters actually. If you want the time with a 24 hour clock, it's percentage sign uppercase T. The, the time with the PM or AM thing is uh, lowercase r, by the way, percentage sign lowercase r. And if you want to have AM or PM, you do percentage sign P, okay, lowercase p. So, for instance, if I did time underscore format now, and then I did percentage lowercase r, that will give me the already perfectly formatted date, like that, you see. But um, just as an example, to show you how that would be made um, otherwise, that's the hour, so um, I'll do this slightly differently, I'll use two digit hours though, so percentage h, it won't show up, of course, because at the moment it's uh, it's 10, so it would be 22 anyway, but yeah. So it's hour, then a colon, then the minutes, which is percentage lowercase i, then the seconds, which is percent uppercase s, then a space, and then percent lowercase p for the am or pm. And there you can see we've created an, ex an exactly the same formatted date. Uh, and then from the list of characters I just gave you, you can work it out otherwise. Um, so, that's, uh, that's pretty much it then, guys. Um, just actually one more thing. Uh, in the last tutorial I talked about, I think it was the last tutorial, I talked about current date and current time and stuff. Whoops, um, there we go. Um, now, the current date and current time don't give you the time or date 
on the user's computer, it gives it on the server's computer. So if the server is in America and you're in Japan, it's going to be different times. So that's just a heads up there. Anyways, for now guys, over and out.